Kaloon's most famous mouse utopia, number 25, began in July 1968 when he introduced eight albino mice into the four and a half foot cube. The first pups were born three and a half months later, and the population doubled every 55 days afterward. Eventually, this growth slowed, but the population continued to climb, peaking at 2,200 mice during the 19th month. That growth masked some serious problems. In the wild, infant mortality among mice is high as most juveniles get eaten by predators or perish of disease or cold. In mouse utopia, juveniles rarely die. There were far more youngsters than normal, which introduced several difficulties. Rodents have social hierarchies with dominant alpha males controlling harems of females. Alphas establish dominance by fighting, wrestling and biting any challengers. Normally a mouse that loses a fight will scurry off to some distant nook to start over elsewhere. But in mouse utopia, the losing mice couldn't escape. Kaloon called them dropouts. And because so few juveniles died, huge hordes of dropouts would gather in the centre of the pen. They were full of cuts and obese scars, and every so often huge brawls would break out, vicious free-for-alls of biting and clawing that served no obvious purpose. It was just senseless violence. In earlier utopias involving rats, some dropouts turned to cannibalism. Alpha males struggled too, they kept their harems in private apartments which they had to defend from challengers. But given how many mice survived to adulthood, there were always a dozen hotshots ready to fight. The alphas soon grew exhausted and some stopped defending their apartments altogether. Apartments with nursing females were regularly invaded by rogue males. The mothers fought back, but often to the detriment of their young. Many stressed out mothers booted their pups from the nest early, before the pups were ready. A few even attacked their own young amid the violence, or abandoned them while fleeing to different apartments, leaving the pups to die of neglect. Maladjusted males, meanwhile, took to grooming all day, preening and licking themselves hour after hour. Kaloon called them the beautiful ones. And yet even while obsessing over their appearance, these males had zero interest in courting females. Kaloon had noticed in earlier utopias that such maladjusted behavior could spread like a contagion from mouse to mouse. He dubbed this phenomenon the behavioral sink. Between the lack of sex which lowered the birth rate and inability to raise pups properly. By the 21st month, newborn pups rarely survived more than a few days. Soon, new births stopped altogether. Older mice lingered for a while, hiding like hermits or grooming all day but eventually they died out as well. By spring 1973, less than five years after the experiment started, the population had crashed from 2,200 to zero.